How do you create triple digit gain strategies with very simple AI scripts and trading view? I'm gonna show you how. This is Boris Schlossberg, let's get into it. Trading strategies do not have to be complicated. In fact, the best trading strategies in the world are exceedingly simple. But now, with the power of ChatGPT and TradingView, you can begin to program and model your own trade ideas without any additional help. And you can see how those trade ideas could come to life into profitable trading strategies. I'm gonna show you exactly, step by step, how this is really possible right now. Let's get into it. Hey guys, okay. So we've got ourselves two of the tools that we absolutely need in order to be able to create a trading system that we can then use to trade live. Right now, I have ChatGPT open, GPT 4.0. Now I have a subscription, a $20 subscription. I recommend if you really want to do um, AI, you pay for the subscription, but it's not necessary. You can get the free one and it will also produce the code that, I, that I'm going to show you. And we have TradingView here on the other chart with US 30 as our chart. We're going to do a very, very simple, clean, moving average strategy. But remember, ChatGPT, although it understands human language, is not human. It's a computer. So you want to talk to it the way you would talk to a computer or to an engineer. Meaning that what you want to do is be very, very specific in the directions that you give it. Right now, I'm just simply going to ask it to produce a trading view indicator that is a moving average crossover with a 10 period moving average and a 100 period moving average. And let's see what it comes up with. So we're going to say, please create a Pine script code because that's the language that TradingView writes in Pine script code that is an indicator, indicator of two moving averages that are user defined, meaning that the user can change those values anytime he wants. Let's start with um, 10 period and 100 period as default. Please make labels for buy and sell at the key crossovers. And let's see what it will do. It tells you creating a Pine script code for trading indicator using two moving averages. We'll use the inputs here. And it says here, it says short input, long moving average input, right? And it's telling you that it's gonna plot those um, uh, images over here in the code. Um, and it's gonna, I think the, uh, the short one is gonna be blue and the long one will be red. And the buy signal will be when it crosses over, when the short crosses over the long. Um, short moving average, meaning meaning the um, short value moving average, and the sell will be the other way around. And it's gonna just simply plot those for us. Um, let me just copy this uh, code here and show you exactly what it's done. I'm gonna go in here. I'm just gonna simply, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Pine Editor in Trading View and just literally copy and paste this code we're gonna save it. And it's gonna ask us for a you know, moving average and just gives us a name, custom moving average. We're gonna say save, okay? Yes, okay. And um, once it's moved over, we're gonna say add it to the chart. And now we have it added to the chart. And it actually created exactly what I wanted, which is like a, um, a buy label over here, a sell label over here, a buy label over here. However, um, what you see here is that you can't really see the letters buy and sell inside of the label. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and say, make label text in white. And it's all you kind of actually need to do. So it understands that it just wants you, it's going, it wants you to modify the, the code that it's already written. So it sort of understands the conversation that you started with it. And um, you will simply just be able to um, to just rewrite the code. So now I'm gonna just copy the code and let's see if this, this comes up and does a good job for us. Just delete, delete that, copy, paste it in here, save it. And look, look how cool this is. Now it's telling us buy, sell. You can actually see the symbols. I can get a little bigger. You guys can see um, the labels and you know here they are. 
that you know they're giving us all the labels showing us you know buy sell signals and we actually have a interesting prototype of a strategy right so here's a strategy that um, shows us buy sell points on a chart or in the us 30 i'm going to just simply make it auto fits all data so you can actually see it here from from the thing you see um this is now understand i'm on a new york time zone right utc minus five so this is us 30 so if you're looking over here this would be um effectively last thursday so you know oh this is november 23rd what is this oh we're in a one hour chart ah never mind i'm sorry i wanted to go on a one minute chart okay forget it i wanted to go i just want to go to a super super short-term strategy i was like wow we really went far so this is just um friday's friday's data which is what i really wanted because i want to show you how we can look at this on an intraday basis and create an interesting strategy. Already, just from looking at this, we can see some interesting developments that happen in um, in this particular uh, just moving average crossover. Nothing more complicated than just a moving average crossover, right? So one of the things that you see here as I'm scrolling through the data, and I'm going to get smaller here, maybe we'll go for a couple more days, right? We'll go backwards. What do you see that on the chart that kind of jumps out at you? You know what jumps out at me? See here is that basically there's nothing interesting going on um, until about seven, eight o'clock New York, maybe nine o'clock New York, right? And then from nine o'clock New York, what you get is really, really big, nice moves, right? This whole buy sell move, that's an interesting move. That's an interesting move. So what does this tell us? This is telling us that um, New York Open is perhaps the most productive and interesting uh, time for us to look for buy sell signals so what if we decided to do the following what if we said to the code hey modify this code so that it only shows me the buy sell crossovers during a specific time in the new york time zone or you know any time zone but in particular during the new york open let's see what happens next like how i'm constructing the strategy on the fly Guess what? We do this every single day in my chat room. We trade live, we create new strategies, and I'd love to see you come join us. The link below gives you a big discount, so be sure to click it if you want to come join me and we'll trade together. Okay, now we're going to ask ChatGPT to create a filter function for us, basically to say that we only want to be able to trade during specific hours, and we want that to be user-defined. We want the user to, to tell the ChatGPT exactly when uh, to turn those signals on and when to turn them off. So what we're gonna say is, and since everything um, in trading really trades around universal time, UTC time, which is GMT time, let's convert everything into UTC and then use those as our input functions. So the first thing I'm gonna say is, please create user inputs in UTC time when the signals will be valid. Let's see if it understands that. To add user input for a time window in UPC ETC during which the signals will be valid, you can use PineScript input function to let the user specify start and end times. PineScript handles times in Unix format, seconds since epoch, so you'll need to convert the user input to this format. Remember that trading platforms typically convert all times to the exchange time zone, so you need to account for this if you're using UT UTC. Here's how you can modify the script. You see how the computer knows all these things, uh, ChatGPT, and actually walks you through step by step. So it tells you, here's we're gonna create a start hour, start minute, end hour, end minute. And um, it's gonna say, if time is valid, it's gonna give you a, a function here. And then the buy signal is only going to occur if time is valid. And sell signal is only gonna occur if um, time is valid. Save it here. And look, it actually created a code that filtered the time for us. You see, there's no, there's only like really kind of almost quality type of filters here, right? The buy and the sells have like really nice little movements. And we're kind of ignoring all these fake buyouts or this consolidated buyouts that it's done, which is really, really interesting, right? Now, once we look at the fact that the code is just now filtered by time, so it only gives us much better quality signals, we can take it even one step further. We can take a look at this and notice something very interesting. Price action tends to extend for a certain amount of time 
and then mean revert. What I mean by that is like, you know, we, to get a good signal, there's a quality amount of profit that happens as the signal goes in and then the signal kind of reverses and we give up a lot of that profit. So one of the things that we could take a look at here is you could say, you know what? What would be really, really good is if we started to clip uh, a certain amount of pips out of this move just by letting us know it's moved a certain amount. Let's say we want to take 100 points, a triple digit profit out of this move, not get too greedy, just take the clip move as the, as the move happens and walk away without profit instead of having to just try to milk it for more and more and then see it disappear in our front of our eyes. So we're going to ask the code to create the following modification. We're going to say, we want you to go in there and create, give us a signal when it's made 100 points, either up or down after a sell or buy signal. And that will give us the perfect exit opportunity to collect during the day. Let's see if we can do that. So we're going to say, now look at this code and create a condition for us where if um, the price increases by plus 100 from the buy entry or decreases by minus 100 from the sell entry, you make a label. And that label will be actually our exit label. So we're gonna ask it to do that. It's actually done it for me already. So um, let's see if it's just gonna modify the script again. But the script I, I added, wrote, wrote, wrote out ahead of time just to save us time. And you can see that it modified the script here to give us a plus 100 minus 100 over here. So I'm going to copy this code. I'm gonna go right back in here. We're going to um, come back into our code editor right here, erase everything that we did before and just paste this new code inside. It's gonna say save and um, what you're going to see, which is really, really cool, is look, exits plus 100, minus 100. Now, not only do we have a very interesting strategy, but we have a hardcore exit entry strategy that kind of banks profits for us in a triple digit format. So we'll start at eight o'clock. So this, this particular sell signal starts at around um, 37 to 25. And then um, on the, we are basically going to reverse ourselves on the buy signal, right? So the buy signal comes in probably at around somewhere around right here at 261. So we sold at 225 and we buy back at 261. We lose essentially 40 points, no problem but we're now long the position and the next exit for us is plus 100. So if we are minus 40 plus 100, we're now make plus 60. Then we get another sell signal and instead of just kind of waiting for the ultimate profit, we just take our profit at plus 100. And now basically in an afternoon, three simple trades, we've eliminated all the noise, all the garbage. We've been able to lose a small amount on, on the crossover capture 100 points on the first crossover, capture 100 points on the second crossover. That's essentially, effectively, 160 points in a super easy, sneezy way. Who tells you that moving average crossovers doesn't work? It works really well, as long as you can tell the computer when and how to take the profits. And with the help of Chad GPT and TradingView, we're able to create this incredibly simple, but yet very effective strategy. So look how cool this strategy works. You can see that, for example, in NASDAQ yesterday, we had a 50 point move. And then just, just before the end of the session, if we caught this buy over here, it was good for 50 and 100 point moves. These moves can be thousands of dollars on a couple of contracts at Apex. That's very, very important to understand. For example, a um, 100 point move in NASDAQ is $20 a point. That's a $2,000 trade right here that you could have registered simply following this very, very simple strategy. Here's how it traded today. We had a move of a 50 point, another big wave of 50 point, and then in the afternoon, if you had stayed around, you could have also had another 50 point move to the downside and a 100 point move. That's another 2,000 point altogether profit um, in addition to the uh, $1,000 profits that you could have had here on a single large contract. But that's not all. You could have also traded the, uh, the, the YM or the Dow where the moves were here at 50 in the morning and then another 50 and 100 point move over here. Now the Dow, the moves are $5 a contract, so this would have been a $500 move here today. Very, very nicely done. And then yesterday, same kind of a thing. You had a 50-point move and a 100-point move all together during this very key trading time. So you can see how well and how efficient this strategy is. Basically, one shot, one kill makes a great trade in the morning. You're done, and it's a great way 
to go towards your target goal of getting funded with Apex Trading. Hope you guys really like the strategy. Happy to share it with you. Like the indicator I just made? It's yours for free. The link is in the description below. Just click it and I'll be happy to send it to you. I hope you really enjoy this little rob through artificial intelligence and trading with me. If you think the strategy is cool and want to put it to a test in a prop trading environment, then please do so with my favorite prop trading firm, Apex, Apex trading. trading. The link for huge discount is below. And think about this. This little strategy essentially effectively gives you possibly $1,000 in just two trades. And all you need to do to fund the $50,000 trading account is $3,000 target. That means if you trade the strategy properly, you might be able to, to fund your account within a week using Apex Trading. Anyways, hope you really enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the markets. Boris Lasberg, over and out.